Infidelity. Another woman. Failure to communicate. Different goals. Growing apart. No more laughter. I'm so sick of Andrew working all the time. I barely get to see him, and when I do, his head is still at work. Is he working on so many cases? So many criminals, sorry, temporarily insane, misunderstood victims of the legal system. So little time. But it's not only that. I feel like work always comes first for him. I'm sure that's not true. You know he loves you. And if he could, he would spend more time with you. Just let him know about your needs. Lainey, it's me we're talking about. I'm pretty clear about my needs. And I know he's not doing this to spite me. It's just so immensely tiring. But enough about my love life. Let's talk about yours. How's Daniel? Daniel is great. We talk for hours and he actively listens. And does he actively do anything else? Yes. And? Well, he knows what he's doing. So you finally over your ex? I guess. And speaking about being over somebody, you remember Sebastian? He seems to be over me. At least he doesn't answer my emails anymore, since I wrote that I would meet Honor Card, not him. Maybe he's not into staying friends. By the way, what about the mails you got from the dating site? Well, there is this one guy I'm mailing with, Ian. Um, is it because you're feeling disappointed because your need for connection is not being met by Andrew? Shut up, Lainey, you're not at work. Besides, it's nothing like that. I wanted to talk to you about the whole everybody hates Will thing. You joined it? Yeah, I mean, I infiltrated it. Have you had any other dates since? Nah. I've decided to stay away from girls. At least for a while. Yeah, right. By the way, what about you? Is there anything going on with you? Maybe. There's this one girl I'm having a cheese off with. Kinky? No, dude. She wrote to my fake account from her own fake account. And we're seeing who can write the most outrageous kitsch. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, your idea of fun, obviously. Mine would have involved spray cheese and bear skin. We've been on five dates and they've all been great. Why haven't I jumped him yet? Maybe you're not gay after all. You wish. I do, actually. And um, just for the record, if you haven't discovered your heterosexuality, I call dips. Tell her, you know I love you, but the computer says no. <coughs> Anyway, Carl is perfect, but there's just no spark, and I don't understand it. So, are you gonna keep trying? Because Kyle sounds like the best thing since sliced bread, and I really ship the two of you. On the condition that I never ever find real person slash of us on the internet. Moi? You're no fun. I'm gonna keep trying. He's just too good to give up easily. A review of the available data suggests a sufficient degree of compatibility. It appears logical that we mate. Shall we proceed to engage in sexual activity? 